Hey everyone, I'm Marcos and I'm Moxie Boosted, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2020 Ranked Wi-Fi Battles. I guess that's what I'm calling it. I have to appease the algorithm that way. Speaking of appeasing the algorithm, go ahead and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it at any point in time. Let's try to shoot for 150 once again and answer my comment question of the day, which is, do you guys know that I live stream? A lot of people the other day, so what, what happened is, uh, I wasn't able to get a video up yesterday, so I just said, alright, I have to live stream right now anyways, I'll just post a little announcement on YouTube saying I'm live. Lots of people didn't know that I live stream every day at like 5pm CST, because they just showed up, they're like, I didn't know you had a Twitch channel. I do, I do guys. So uh, by the time this video ends, I'm going to time it, so when the video is over, uh, like by the time you're done watching it, I should be live on Twitch. That link is down in the description if you guys want to watch me there. But yeah, did, did you know? That's my question. Did you guys even know? Because <laughs> I, I try to communicate that. Also join the Discord, which is linked in the description. But yeah, let's get into it. So today, uh, or last night while I was streaming, I actually did ladder quite a bit. I started off, I think my lowest was like 12,000th place. Uh, somewhere in the 12,000s. But I have climbed back up to 1,828, which is a relatively decent amount. Um, and we are using a team from a Patreon. If you guys want me to use your teams in a video or a live stream, check out the Patreon, which is linked in the description uh but this team is actually really cool it's a sand team with crit togekiss now crit togekiss has been picking up in popularity and ah i hate that when you play like someone will just ladder and they'll have a higher rank than you also do i put on this hat do i put on my walmart hat or my regular hat i'm gonna go with the regular hat um so yeah we're using this team it's got crit togekiss and crit togekiss works like this um you give it a scope lens and it has the ability super luck which gives you plus one on crits so it's like plus one crit crit raising thing uh, and then you have plus two because of the scope lens meaning that now you have 50 percent chance uh, to crit which is really really good coming off a of togekiss because essentially it's you're breaking through special defense boosts which happen a lot with max quake pokemon um and your dazzling gleams even just do insane it's insane amounts of damage so yeah it also has a passive in and i tried recording with it prior to streaming the other day and then i just gave up halfway through um because I wasn't exactly sure how the team worked, but after streaming with it for about an hour, I have a pretty decent idea of how it works. We went, like, nearly undefeated on stream last night. I think I won, like, seven battles and lost one. So that, that was pretty good. I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. I feel like now that I said it, though, now that I'm recording a video, I'm just going to lose all my games. <laughs> That's usually how these things go. But okay, let's see. Who are we facing today? We are facing DO IT! 1387. And they have a vanilla, because they are going for that Aurora Veil. Um, it doesn't look like... It looks like they had, they have a Trick Room option with their Chandelure, but uh, Hydreigon kind of kind of like just messes that thing up. Uh, I think I feel comfortable leading off with Excadrill and having Tyranitar in the back so I can get my Sand up. Um, and this looks like it's going to be Mold Breaker Excadrill, if anything. So I'm thinking we do that. Uh, I could bring Togekiss next to it. Tyranitar in the back, and I'm tempted to do Corviknight because they only have one way of beating Corviknight, and it is, or I guess two ways. Uh, Rotom is a bit of a Corviknight check. Um, there isn't much of a reason to bring this past Simeon, so it's it's between Corviknight and past Simeon right now, and and I guess Hydreigon. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to bring Hydreigon. Hydreigon looks like it has a pretty tough time here. I think, I believe, you know, what, let's let's go let's go Hydreigon. We'll go Hydreigon, actually. And the reason I'm going Hydreigon is because it is Scarf Hydreigon, so um, I will be able to outspeed things like Scarf Vanillux, which that's typically what they run, either Scarf or Focus Sash. Uh, it's pretty rare to see something like Light Clay, so I'm not too concerned. Also, it'll make it easier for my Excadrill to spam Earthquakes. Alright, Rotom Togekiss. So that's not an ideal lead. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a bit of a of a sticky situation here. Uh, I doubt that he'll go for a Will-O-Wisp onto my Excadrill when you could just Hydro Pump it right now. I think what I want to do here is send in the Tyranitar and go for a... I could go for a Yawn onto the Rotom right now and then protect my Tyranitar the next turn. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for a Yawn. I should be able to take whatever. Uh, as long as they don't follow me here, which I don't really see a reason for them to follow me. In fact, they might just Dynamax their Togekiss. Then, unless they go for a follow me, I should be fine. If they Hydro Pump me, I just get my, my weakness policy. Alright. Who's it gonna be? 
That might be the Rotom just going for the straight up Hydro Pump. I might have messed up here. But even if it is the Rotom, um, yeah, it is the Rotom. Even if it is the Rotom, I should be able to yawn it here, and that isn't a bad spot to be in at all. That isn't a bad spot at all. Max Lightning. Come on, baby. Come on, you can take one. You cannot take one. I am disappointed in you. I'm very disappointed in you. Hello game, can I have my weakness policy or something? Alright, he's life orb, that's why it KO'd. I was gonna say, like, it isn't it isn't often that thing KOs and charm. That's the tech. Charm is pretty cool tech. Alright, so Exegirl is just gonna get messed up, to be honest. Like, like Exegirl is gonna get messed up. Um I am focus sash, so I can't take a hit. If it isn't Beery Berry, I should be okay to just go for this. I'm gonna switch in my Hydreigon here uh, and go for the uh, Iron Head. I don't want to Dynamax my Tyranitar, or I don't want to Dynamax my Exudril for the free KO, um, because I'd rather just I'd rather just Dynamax my Tyranitar. At this point, it looks like Tyranitar is my best bet of winning. And Exudril um, is probably gonna get taken out by like a Hydro Pump anyways, or uh, a Max Geyser. So it's, it's better for me to just go for this. Like, it wouldn't make sense to Dynamax Sign to die this turn. Ally Switch. Okay. I don't like this Togekiss anymore. I, <laughs> it just moves over a little bit. I don't like this Togekiss. I think it's a stinky Togekiss. This is the stinkiest Togekiss in all the land. Bruh. Alright, I'm gonna double into the Togekiss slot because I, I don't like it. Like like I said, I don't like that Togekiss. It is a stinky Togekiss. So, um Dark Pulse into Iron Head should KO it, and the reason I'm dark pulsing into it, uh, even though it's resisted, is because if they do opt to switch out, that is my best play. And also, this is their last turn of Dynamax, so I don't really see a point to protecting my Excadrill when I could just remove a Togekiss from the field. Alright, that's doing a chunk, so now Iron Head should KO. Okay, never mind. I think we lose. <laughs> There's the Beery Berry. I need you to flinch. I need you to flinch, like, right now, Togekiss. Otherwise, Hydreigon's, like, big dead. 30% chance. That's what we're banking on. 30%. Ayy. <laughs> Here I send in my Tyranitar. And we haven't revealed the Choice Scarf yet, so he might... Um, what am I saying? He might expect... my, ty or my He might expect like this thing to want to protect... You might expect me to want to protect this bad boy, so I should be fine to just go for the Iron Head. Um, or just go for the Max Rockfall, as well as a Dark Pulse into you. Let's go for the Max Rockfall. I need it. I'm really hoping I get my Weakness Policy boost here. Um, yeah, and, and the reason I'm also Dark Pulsing into the... Into the... Rotom is because I'm more likely to... I'm likely to flinch the Rotom, uh, and I don't want to get burnt. Because I'm not Lumberry, I'm Weakness Policy, and that's... That's like my only out here. There's the Thunderbolt. Alright, cool, he's not going for the burn. He's probably going to Dazzling Gleam here. I have to take down three Pokemon. Luckily, my Sand is up, but if they do have that Vanillix in the back, he should be able to do a lot of damage to my uh, to my Tyranitar with just that, uh, with just like um, a regular like Hydro Pump. But right now, with the Sand up, they're they're doing like no damage with Special Attacks to me. And I do have Rock Slide in this Tyranitar, so that might come in clutch later on. 
What's what's annoying though is that this uh, Rotom is not in range to die from just like sand plus. Uh, it's it's not in range to die from uh, hail plus its life orb. However, the Rotom should be going for an attack here, so I'm just gonna go for a uh, max rock fall into this Vanillux. Hoping that it's Choice Scarf, because I can just max guard the next turn for Rotom to die. Don't you dare freeze me. Alright, we're good. We live. We have to outspeed this next Pokemon if we want to win. Because I can just... Um, I can just protect here. I have to be faster than this next Pokemon if I want to win. Because my max guard will allow me to take anything. Rotom's going to take Sandstorm damage, not enough to knock it out, however it will die next turn. I'm really hoping that they have something slower than this Tyranitar, because <laughs> otherwise I lose. Oh, it's a Conkeldurr, and they always have Mach Punch. So that that's that's a little annoying. That, that's, that's a little annoying. Um, I believe my best play is to max Knuckle here. Just into the Conkeldurr and hope for a crit and hope that he misses his Hydro Pump, but he could just Thunderbolt. Nope, he's got Mach Punch. Good game. Unfortunately, we do lose to that Conk. I'm really not a fan of Ally Switch. And I think it's a lame move, but I'm not going to get salty over losing. We'll just keep moving forward. I really wanted to break into Top 1000, though. Top 1000 would have been amazing. It would have been incredible. It would have been phenomenal. Incredible. Absolutely phenomenal. All right. Thank you for the zinc, Game Freak. <laughs> How far did we drop? Probably still in the 2000s. Okay, cool. We're not complete garbage yet. In the fog. That's the fire track we're going to listen to. Thirty-nine twenty-six. Ooh, this is actually an interesting team. So it's sand... Rillaboom plus Togekiss and um, Dragapult. And I don't want to intimidate anything. Luckily, I can't intimidate anything. Uh, however, I have to be careful throwing out Max Darknesses. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? Passimian might be the play on the lead. I think I want to go Passimian Togekiss. Excadrill in the back because it's really, really nice versus this team. Um, and my last Pokemon is probably going to be Corviknight, because he doesn't really have anything to touch that. Yeah, I think that's a, I think that's a pretty good decision for this game. I think we're pretty good with that. Also, look at this all-male Pokemon team. We need some gender diversity on our Pokemon teams, guys. Alright, this guy's generic trainer card is really, really lame. <laughs> What's he leading off with? Togekiss Dragapult. All good. All good. I am crit Togekiss, so what I can do here is just go for the max airstream. And switch in my Corviknight. Or I could even attempt a yawn, but I feel like it makes... Or you know what? I'll just Dazzling Gleam. I don't want to max airstream it. I can Dazzling Gleam and do huge damage to that Dragapult if I crit. It's 50% too. And it ignores follow me. Nice. So no Dynamax coming out from them. They might just Dragon Dance. Yeah, there it is. This Dazzling Gleam, if I crit, it, this is a dead Dragapult. That's what I want. I want a dead Dragapult. Hey, the crit. Beautiful. Yeah, Crit Togekiss is a monster. It's an absolute monster. Dazzling Gleam is its best move, for sure. Alright, in comes the Milotic. Um, honestly, not even concerned, bro. I'm not even, like, concerned, bro. Let me body press you. And I think I want to yawn the Milotic, because... Or maybe I'll yawn this... Who, who's more likely to max? 
We'll, we'll just yawn the Milotic and body press. The battle is... Yeah, they gave up. They're like, no, I can't win anymore. You crit. He's probably salty. He might not know what double crits. He might not know about the crit Togekiss set. Alright, we'll continue battling. Yeah, that Dazzling Gleam is disgusting damage. Alright, back into 1900. That didn't take too long. We're facing L, the in Spanish. And that's a Pikachu. That's a Pikachu. Um, I don't like that he has the Pikachu. I think it's a stinky Pokemon once more. I, I will use the word stinky to define stinky Pokemon. <laughs> I know my viewers aren't all kids. Like, I'm not saying stinky because it's like a kid thing. I'm just saying because it's just funny to me, the word stinky. I think it's, I think it's just a, a, a really funny word. Like, who, who came up with this? Like, I know it's something can stink, right? But, like, describing anything inherently as stinky uh, is just, like, really fun in my head. I don't know why. All right, we'll lead up. <laughs> That's enough talk about Stinky. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about Stinky. <laughs> All right, um, we'll lead off to Oikis Excadrill. I can bring Tyranitar in the back here. Uh, I can't really afford to lose to that Conkeldur, so I'm real tempted to bring Corviknight. Yeah, I think Corviknight is a good play. It can it can eat a lot of hits here, so we'll go with that. Today, Marcos talked about the word stinky for like a minute and a half in his YouTube video. Why, why do some people just have non-customized trainer cards? Have fun with this game, dude. Conkeldur and Togekiss. That is a really good lead for me, because I can Dazzle and Gleam and hope for a crit. <laughs> Alright, do your thing, Togekiss. Do your thing. Send in the Corviknight. Get the crit. I mean, I know Conkeldur, if it's Assault Vest, can take the hit, but I don't think it can take it if it's not, because a lot of Conkeldur want to run, like, Flame Orb or something. I'm really hoping this is Flame Orb, Conk. Ugh. I had a stretch right there. It's been a very, very relaxing day. I haven't had much on my plate. I went to, like, my class, and... Now I'm just chilling, recording some YouTube videos. Gonna take my girlfriend out for some coffee after this. Meeting her there at like 12. Nice heat wave. That actually kind of sucks for me. Oh, come on. Alright. So he's gonna get a bit of a bit of health back. Um, not enough to avoid dying to a crit. So if I can get this crit, it will go down. And I think I just want to protect my Corviknight here to prevent him from recovering much more. And nothing wants to switch in on crit Togekiss. Like this is such a strong set. So we'll protect here. We'll go for the crit. I could also just yawn or air slash, but I feel like the like he might follow me. Like, following me just makes sense. Or no, I guess it doesn't. He might just Dynamax here and knock me out. If I can get rid of the Conk, though, I'm in a good spot. He gets messed up by Excadrill. There's the Protect. What are you going for? What, what, what are you doing, bud? Heat Wave? Can you miss? That'd be amazing. Ow. Can I crit? That'd be amazing. Great. Alright, um... I think I'm ready to just click Max Airstream and mess him up. I don't believe he has anything for Max Airstream in the back. Let me check. I think he might have had a Rotom, but I don't remember. And, like, if anything, he switches out here. There's no way he stays in. What was your team? Um, yeah, he doesn't have anything that wants to switch in on Max Airstream. So, I think I'm fine with letting my Corviknight go down. I could also just Tailwind to make sure I'm faster and everything. Or get a free switch. I think I want my free switch into my Tyranitar. And I'll just go for the Max Airstream. Because if Tyranitar is plus one speed, it messes up everything. Especially if he goes for a Dazzling Gleam or something. Hopefully he doesn't burn me, though. If he burns me with this, I'm in a bad spot. 
I swear, if he mock punches, I'm going to be tilted. Alright, he's withdrawing. Good. Called it. Chandelure? No, you're not taking this, bud. If I crit this max airstream, you're big dead. And he did win both speed ties, if they were speed ties. Uh, but the fact that I went first in the Dynamax tells me that they are not speed ties. He is just faster than me, and he did not Dynamax this turn. However, if, if he does Dynamax this turn, that means that it was a speed tie. Oh, just disconnected. Guys, we're like winning left and right from this. Man just disconnected. Oh, I think he realized what happened. Did I crit? Did he disconnect because I crit? I'm assuming he might, he might just be ahead of me animation-wise. Nah, but let, let me see if that that was a crit. That looks like a crit. No, it was not a crit. But if it did crit, he lost. He just lost. Nice. So we're getting, like, very incomplete games today. However, I'm still winning. I lost the first game, but I'm winning. I was messing him up with Crit Toekiss. Crit Toekiss is amazing. We'll do one more battle for today. I'll get one more. 1903. You see, um, that isn't actually how much I went I went up from winning that match. That's actually inaccurate because the uh, the points don't go up until after your next game or after a couple of minutes. So you got to give it a minute. Uh, yeah, you get messed up by Crit Toekiss if I play it right. We're going to lead off Passimian. Toekiss. And Passimian just discourages anything, anything sand related. Um, and if I do get that max airstream, Passimian messes him up. I wish Passimian got fake out. It'd be such a strong Pokemon if it did. Um, what else do I want? It looks like you don't have much for Corviknight. And Corviknight's body press can really put a lot of damage. Uh, and I think my last Pokemon cannot really be Hydreigon. I think I have to go with Excadrill. Yeah, I think I like that team. I, th I think I like that team quite a bit. Especially since he has no fire types. Like, the only fire move he can possibly have... Well, I guess he has two options. He can have Flamethrower and the Hydreigon, and uh, he can have Mystical Fire and Togekiss. But Mystical Fire and isn't very common. Heat Wave wasn't very common, actually. It's surprising he had Heat Wave. I, that's mostly just for Durant, I assume. Because Durant tends to have a Togekiss next to it. And Heat Wave will let you hit both. You know, granted, you don't miss. If you're me, you miss every time. This guy's a spiky boy. So he goes for the to Togekiss. He goes for the Whimsicott Excadrill lead. I actually quite enjoy that lead, to be honest. It's actually really good for me. What I can do here is I can take a hit with max... I can do this. I can feint the Whimsicott. And I can go for a max air stream. And that'll get me plus one speed. Um, and if he Dynamaxes this turn, then... Well, if he, if he Dynamaxes this turn, then I still take the hit. And this will give me plus one speed on my freaking Passimian. So if he doesn't go for a Tailwind, which he should definitely go for a Tailwind. However, I, I don't know what I'm saying. If I, What I'm saying is if he Moonblasts me, I live the hit. If he Tailwinds, it's it's whatever. And the Faint will break a Focus Sash. That's a lot more than I thought. There's the Tailwind, that's fine. There's the Rock Slide, that's fine. I'm taking, like, nothing. Now Pessy means a fast boy. He's a very fast boy. I mean, they could switch in the Tyranitar here, but I'm not really too concerned about that. Because I just want to get rid of the Excadrill more than anything. Gyarados. Okay, that's not bad. Hopefully he's Intimidate Gyarados. That is so good for me. That is so good for me. So here's the deal. Uh, Gyarados is most likely going to max Airstream. And get... Well, he's not going to get a Moxie boost off of that. I suppose I could just go for a close combat here. Onto the Excadrill, as well as uh, another Max Airstream onto the Gyarados. Uh, he can't knock. He can't knock out either of my Pokemon without Dynamaxing here. So if he's going to Dynamax anything, it makes sense for it to be Gyarados. It looks like that is going to be Gyarados.
And he's probably just going to max Airstream here for a speed boost. But if I can get rid of Gyarados, Corviknight messes him up. It's going to protect the Excadrill. That's whatever. Alright, unfortunately all Passimia did was help out with KOing the, uh, the Whimsicott turn 1. Luckily though, this is this isn't Moxie Gyarados, so it doesn't really have a way of attack boosting. And we're doing a decent chunk. That might have been a crit. If not, we can go for a crit next turn. Alright, cool. That was a crit. That was a very nice crit. And I think here I want to send in my Focus Sash Excadrill. Because I will be able to knock out this uh, Gyarados, granted that it doesn't double into me. He might Rock Slide, though. The only thing I'm concerned about is a possible Rock Slide. So what do you have in the back? Um, Nothing that doesn't get messed up by Body Press Corviknight, or Corviknight in general. So I'm going to go for this Rock Slide. And I'm also going to go for the... What's stronger, Max Airstream or Max Starfall? Looks like they're both the same power. Yeah, so we'll just Max Airstream again. There's the Rock Slide. He does connect on my Excadrill, which is a little bit annoying. And there's the Max Geyser. So priority number one is KOing this Gyarados. And I think he only has one turn left to Tailwind, so I could just double protect this next turn. And then go for um, a Dazzling Gleam. We do get another crit. Send in the Corviknight. I don't even think Corviknight gets him. I don't even think Corviknight gets knocked out yet. Alright. So. Yeah, they do have one turn left to Tailwind, so I should outspeed them after this. So I just have to double protect here. If he doesn't max Airstream, which he shouldn't, he should definitely... Oh, I can't protect my Togekiss. I'm scared. I'm scared, guys. I don't have a way of KOing Gyarados. I could try to follow me, I guess. And body press. But I think I get more out of just going for the Dazzling Gleam. Wow. Um, I'm plus 3 speed, so I could just... Yeah, I have to body press. Yeah, this is my only chance. <laughs> this isn't going to do much damage, is it? I forgot I didn't protect my Togekiss. Yikes. Okay. So that didn't accomplish much. How much are you doing? I know this is a physically defensive... Or no, it's a specially defensive Corviknight. So he's going to do a lot. But we are leftovers, so we can protect next turn. Ooh, he's he's close. He's close. Yeah, if I could have double protected this turn, I would have been, I would have been good to go, I think. The Tailwind is gone. Dynamax is about to end. So I think here I protect. His Max Geyser isn't going to be doing nearly as much. However, I have to be really careful about Rock Slide flinches now. And Waterfall flinches. That, that is also an issue. Yikes, okay. Um, so here's here's how I see it. If I go for a roost here, I should end up with more health than I started with if I live these hits. So I should probably just roost. Or I could also tailwind. Or if I don't know if I outspeed if I outspeed the extra drill. I'm gonna tailwind here. It'll let me roost faster next turn if I do live the hit anyways. Alright. He misses. Cool. I just have to not get flinched here. Don't get flinched. Nice. Okay, I can roost, and it should be faster than everything. 
Because the extra drill is only plus one speed, this gives me plus two speed. And I can stall out the rain a bit. I'm pretty sure... Yeah, they're, they're both plus one speed. So I might be faster than them, but I'm not sure. I'm going to protect right here. For extra, extra health. The Iron Head. I'm hoping I can outspeed. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how much speed I have compared to them at the moment. There's the Rain. The Rain is now gone. I can go for a Roost here, and then I can go for a Body Press next turn. Please tell me I'm faster. Come on. No, we're not faster. We're going to live that. Please tell me I'm faster than the Gyarados. I am not. Okay, good game. I, I figured that was my only out. I mean, I could have just gone for the body press immediately, but then I would have died to the Excadrill on the next turn. So that, I, I just had to hope that I was faster than plus one speed on them. I'm not familiar with the spreads on this team. Uh, it's just a rental, so. But that's fine. I think we did pretty good today. Um, I mean, we didn't really quite ladder as much as I hoped. Or we, might, we might be in a higher spot. If we're higher than 1,900, then I'm, then I'm fine with this. That, that's my only condition. If I'm higher than 1,900. Because we didn't get the points from the last one. So let's update our score right here. Alright. Update rank. Higher than 1900. Come on. Nope. Okay. We just barely went down. But yeah. I think that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much guys for watching. Um... If you guys want to watch me live on Twitch, right about now, I should be going live. Sorry if you hear a blender in the background. That's my roommate making lunch, I guess. But yeah, uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe for more Pokemon content. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see your team used in the video. Uh, and yeah, I'll be live on Twitch right about now. Go ahead and head over there. Link's in the description. See ya.